In the past few days different news about the Jon Snow series have emerged, from rumors about possible actors returning to the series, to news about the production. In this video, we will be talking about the most important news of this week about the Game of Thrones universe. If you want to know everything related to the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. The first news comes from the Portal Game Rant, who conducted an interview with actress Gwendolyn Christie, who interpreted the character of Brienne, and was asked about her return to the series. The news says the following, and I quote, Jon Snow's untitled project remains an enigma. Although the cast of Game of Thrones has mentioned the series on multiple occasions, this time it is Brian of Tarth herself, Gwendolyn Christie, who makes reference to the project. Access Hollywood met Christie on the red carpet at the Wednesday's premiere, and the interviewer asked her about the possibility of her appearance in the Jon Snow spin-off. Christie joked. Oh, in the new Jon Snow spin-off? Well, I really don't know. I think it depends on whether Kit Harrington remembers how many favors he owes me. And if the script is any good, I think he'll do it himself. She laughed out loud, before clarifying. I haven't talked to Kit about it, and I'm really thrilled for him. He was so legendary in that role, really. He's a great actor Kit Harrington, and he dedicated his life to that role. And I think we all want to see more of him. Behind Christie's jokes, her reluctance to reveal any information is a reflection of Harrington's own secrecy surrounding Jon Snow's Game of Thrones sequel. Although fans have been speculating about what the series might be about, nothing concrete has been revealed. Given that the House of the Dragon brought up the prophecy of the Promised Prince, which implies that a Targaryen prince will save the world from a threat coming from the North, it is possible that the groundwork for the spin-off is already being prepared. In Game of Thrones, it is Arya Stark, played by Mysai Williams, who puts an end to the White Walker threat. Perhaps Jon Snow will have to face a greater, and more troubling threat, to fulfill House Targaryen's greatest prophecy. Now, Brienne's character was one of the most beloved by the fans. And as we can understand from the actress' words, she is willing to return, as she mentions that she will be back if Kit remembers the favors he owes her. She mentions that she hasn't spoken to Jon Snow yet, which could hint that maybe she's lying, and is really keeping the secret of his return, or that maybe we won't see King's Landing during Snow's first season. Perhaps this series will focus more on the North, and Brienne at this time would be in Westeros. Although this does not mean that we will not see her in this series, as we could see her in the second season, when Jon decides to return to Westeros. But as always, we will be following everything that happens with this character. Let's move on to the next news. This news comes from an interview that Amelia Clark gave in 2020, but these last days it has resurfaced as an explanation of why the actress would return to play her character, since according to her, she did not like how she concluded Game of Thrones. The website Startifacts published this news which reads as follows. Probably the most controversial part of the Game of Thrones finale was the fate of Daenerys Targaryen, interpreted by Amelia Clark. Some viewers were caught off guard when she suddenly became a genocidal tyrant and a threat to the Seven Kingdoms, to the point that she had to be put down by Jon Snow, interpreted by Kit Harington. Many believed her actions were out of line. Others said Daenerys was acting more or less as he had since season two. Amelia Clark herself, in particular, is on the first side at this point, although she initially defended the direction of the story. Amelia had this to say. Yes, I felt for her. I really felt for her. Was I upset that Jon Snow didn't have to face something? He got away with it, literally. This is quite a notable difference from her comments about the premiere of the finale, 
in which she noted that Daenerys' actions were consistent with her habit of imposing harsh vengeance on her enemies. Amelia explained the divergence this way. I knew how I felt about the ending when I first read it. And I tried at all times not to consider too much what other people might say. She continued. But I always kept in mind what the fans might think, because we did it for them, and they're the ones who made us successful, so it's kind of polite, isn't it? She even admitted being upset that the series didn't give Daenerys a happy ending. Clark also agrees with another complaint about the final season. It's rushed six-episode nature, which caused the series to skip vital parts of character development. And the most important part of this interview, and what connects it to the Jon Snow series, is when she mentions the following. We could have stretched the ending a little longer. The fact that Amelia Clark was not satisfied with the end of the series, and that she recently mentioned that everything is possible and that she does not rule out her return, shows us what her mental stance is about the end of Game of Thrones. If Daenerys would have had an expected ending, she would not be talking about her possible return, or why she did not like the ending. The fact that the end of Game of Thrones was not satisfactory, opens the possibility of Daenerys' return, as the actress feels she owes a debt to the fans. The latest news is one that happened three days ago, and it is an unfortunate one for the Game of Thrones universe. The actor Wilco Johnson, who played the executioner Sir Island Payne in Game of Thrones, lost his life after fighting cancer since 2012. Johnson's official Twitter posted the following words. This is the announcement we never wanted to make, and we make it with a very heavy heart. Wilco Johnson has died, the statement said. He passed away at his home on Monday, November 21st. Thank you for respecting the family's privacy during this sad moment. Rest in peace Wilco Johnson. This is very sad news, and we will always remember him for his great role in the series. These have been the news for today. What do you think about the possible return of Brienne to the Jon Snow series? What do you think about the nonconformity of the Daenerys actress with her role? Do you think this will influence her to return? I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You're on, The Three-Eyed Raven.